YouTuber. Good morning. It's Rob Moffitt. Guys, you know I'm becoming a Google doctor. <laughs> I'm having to learn a lot of things on my own because you can't always get information from your doctor. So I'm having to go on Google. And for a long time, my doctors have wanted me to take a statin and I resisted uh, vigorously until finally I went ahead and took a much smaller dose than they had been recommended. And it actually worked out good for me. It, it's been lowering my cholesterol. But I also have been taking it because I was watching Dr. Brewer, and he recommended taking it very small doses to help reduce inflammation, which is a key part of health. But part of me did not want to take a statin because I saw so much information about people saying that it affected your cognitive abilities, your ability to use your old noggin, you know, your old brain. <laughs> it's kind of important, don't you think? And uh, I didn't want to, you know, I already have difficulty as it is with my regular brain. I didn't want to have to um, be taking pills that was going to make it work even harder. So uh, I did some research and I found a study. It was 2018. This is from the Neurology Advisor. And it was a study given at a, uh, or uh, there was a 2018 Alzheimer's Association conference in Chicago. And this paper was released at the conference. And what they did is they studied different types of statins. And what they found was that one type of statin actually does show a cognitive decline or, or impairment. Um, now, they also said that there were many studies that they went over that the the uh, they were subjective. They weren't very rigorous. So let's look what they found. The lipophilic statins, which philic means is attracted to, and lipo referring to fats, lipids in, in, in your blood. Um, they said lipophilic statins may be associated with memory and cognitive deficits in a dose dependent manner. So the more large doses you get, the worse effect you're going to have. And they compared it with a uh, another type of statin, which is hydrophilic. And the lipophilic one would be the Lipitor, and hydrophilic was uh, Rosuvastin, which is Crestor. And they compared the results with controls. And this is what they found with the, the Atorvastin, which, which is uh, Lipitor. And these are the results of the controls. They got 25.17 as opposed to the control 2664, 1941 for the Lipitor as opposed to 215. And they got 0.7339 as opposed to 7856 for the control. So you can see they're lower. Also, for uh, memory, immediate recall, they also got lower. Uh, for the Lipitor as 0.5013 and 0.5926 for immediate recall and delayed recall same thing you got a lower number on the Lipitor as opposed to the control and for working memory a lower number as opposed to the control they said there was no significant differences with the Rosuvastatin group which is the Crestor and they had additional testing that uh, showed that there was a difference between the two. So their quote, the key quote of the study is, findings from this investigation suggest that lipophilic blood brain barrier penetrable statins may be associated with deficits in cognition and memory, possibly in dose dependent relationship. So by Blood brain, what they're saying is that the Crestor doesn't go through the blood brain barrier and the lipophilic one, the, the Lipitor does. So now there may be a reason you want your statin to go through the blood brain barrier, but in this case, it showed that those that do have a cognitive decline, it affects your memory and your brain working. So, uh, this is a study that was a one-time study. I don't know if this study has been repeated, and that's very important because you often find that when studies are repeated, you don't always get the same results.
So it's something to think about. If, if, if the doctor was going to have you take a statin, I sh I, let me start over. I shouldn't be telling you anything what you should do or not do. I'm not a doctor and I don't play one on, on YouTube. <laughs> but if my doctor is going to have me take one, I'm going to ask him or her, is there a difference? Can I take one as opposed to the other? And in this case, I think I would choose Crest. Or if they told me it doesn't really matter that much between the two, I'd say, well, I think there is. And I'd prefer to have the one that doesn't give me a cognitive decline. So that's my tip from from <laughs> Dr. Bob. <laughs> uh, oh, Dr. Robert. So, uh, you know, you got to, you got to, you got to be your own doctor nowadays. You got to be proactive and find ways you can help yourself. And that's what I'm doing. Hope this is a tip to help you guys. I'm not saying don't take anything. I'm saying it looks like there might be a choice of one than the other. And also I've had good luck with mine by reducing my dosage. I take five milligrams every other day. All right, guys, that's it for the morning, this morning and uh, see you out there.